Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. Today let me show you how to highlight cells with some expiry date rules using conditional formatting. So in my data set here you can see that uh, column F has the expiry dates and in simple terms what I'm trying to do is whenever the expiry date is within the next seven days I want that cell to highlight a red or a yellow color or whichever color it may be. So what I'm going to do is column F has the expiry dates so I'll select the entire column apart from the column header and then I'll just go all the way back up and I'll go into conditional formatting manage rules and new rule and using a formula to determine which cells to format and the formula will be equals to the very first cell which is F2 I'm just going to remove the dollar sign in front of the 2 because I wanted to keep looping down the rows uh, minus the today function open and close bracket and less than 7 because my number is 7 I want it to be within the 7 day range and then I'll go into format and I'll just give it a color of my choice and I'll press OK and I'll press apply and I'll press OK once again so now you can see that it's working and all the cells are highlighting essentially whenever um, whenever the expiry date is within the next 7 days it is applying but let's say let's go to today's date today is the uh, 24th of April so let's put in April 24th and you can see that today's date is also highlighting as well um, only one thing is that if you go all the way down you can see we have a whole bunch of orange highlights so in order to prevent that from happening what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our rules and we're just gonna edit the rule and we're gonna write down equals to and open bracket whatever our formula was that we created and the second condition is that F2 that we the cell that uh, is our target cell uh, cannot equal to these are the cannot equal to operators the open and closing curly brackets and then double quotes and double quotes okay so essentially the cell cannot be blank as well that's one of the conditions for which um, conditional formatting will actually execute so I'm going to press OK once again press apply and as you can see now if we go down we don't have a whole bunch of yellow highlights everywhere and the other thing is uh, let's go back to the calendar here and exactly seven days from now is uh, May 1st so let me go over here and let me write down May 1st in the cell May 1st okay as you can see May 1st did not highlight May 1st is exactly seven days from now and in our formula we mentioned that we want it to be less than seven days for the conditional formatting to flag it. So we can go back here and let's say I want it to be seven days or less inclusive. So I'm gonna go back here into my edit rule and I'm just gonna write down less than and then equals to seven and I'll press okay and apply that as well. So now the May 1st dates are also showing as well. So these are simple formulas and functions you can use to highlight expiry dates in Excel. I hope you found this valuable and as always, thank you for watching.